Preeclampsia is a pregnancy-specific disorder characterized by hypertension, high blood pressure, and proteinuria, presence of protein in urine, after 20 weeks of gestation. It is a leading cause of maternal and fetal morbidity and mortality worldwide, with an estimated incidence of 2% to 8% of pregnancies. The exact cause of preeclampsia is unknown, but several factors are believed to contribute to its development. These include genetic factors, abnormal placental development, maternal immune response to the placenta, endothelial dysfunction, and oxidative stress. Preeclampsia can also be associated with other medical conditions such as diabetes, obesity, and kidney disease. The clinical presentation of preeclampsia can range from mild to severe. Mild preeclampsia is characterized by blood pressure readings of 140-90ths of a millimeter of mercury or higher, and proteinuria of 300 mg or more per day. Women with mild preeclampsia may also experience symptoms such as headaches, visual disturbances, and upper abdominal pain. Severe preeclampsia is characterized by blood pressure readings of 160-110ths of a millimeter of mercury or higher, and proteinuria of 5 grams or more per day. Women with severe preeclampsia may also experience symptoms such as seizures, severe headaches, pulmonary edema, fluid accumulation in the lungs, and liver and kidney dysfunction. Preeclampsia can also lead to a condition known as eclampsia, which is characterized by seizures in a woman with preeclampsia who has no other neurological conditions. Eclampsia is a medical emergency that requires immediate treatment to prevent maternal and fetal morbidity and mortality. The diagnosis of preeclampsia is based on the presence of hypertension and proteinuria after 20 weeks of gestation. Other laboratory tests such as liver function tests, platelet count, and serum creatinine may also be performed to assess the severity of the disease. The management of preeclampsia depends on the severity of the disease and the gestational age of the fetus. Mild preeclampsia may be managed with close monitoring of blood pressure and proteinuria, bed rest, and antihypertensive medications if necessary. Severe preeclampsia may require hospitalization, intravenous magnesium sulfate to prevent seizures, and early delivery of the fetus. In cases of severe preeclampsia before 34 weeks of gestation, the decision to deliver the fetus is based on several factors, including the severity of the disease, the fetal gestational age, and the fetal well-being. In cases of severe preeclampsia after 34 weeks of gestation, delivery is usually recommended to prevent maternal and fetal complications. Prevention of preeclampsia is a major focus of research. Several interventions, including low-dose aspirin, calcium supplementation, and antioxidants have been studied for their potential to prevent preeclampsia. However, the evidence for these interventions is not conclusive, and further research is needed to determine their efficacy. In conclusion, preeclampsia is a serious pregnancy-specific disorder that can have significant maternal and fetal morbidity and mortality. Early detection and management of the disease are crucial to prevent complications and improve outcomes. Research into the prevention of preeclampsia is ongoing, and further advances in this area may have a significant impact on maternal and fetal health. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.